Do you want to be invested in the S&P? Yes. The answer to that question is just yes. That's just like basic, basic financial education is you should be invested in the S&P. And, and everybody would agree with you. Like everyone, everybody would agree with that statement. Like, yeah, dude, you should buy the S&P. Everybody would have agreed with that statement anywhere during this. But all of a sudden, just because it looks like this, you now you don't want to invest in the S&P? Like, what do people think Spy Bottoms is? Just wanted to get Herd's point of view? Nobody knows. Nobody in my community will give you a, uh, where they think the bottom is, because my community knows that they don't fucking know where the bottom is. Oh, speaking of, it's time to buy my one share of VOO. We just bought our one share of VOO. That puts us at 29 shares now, I believe. Does that put us at $10,000 of VOO? Yes, it does. We now have over $10,000 worth of VOO. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I don't think anyone should be 100% cash right now. Yep, I agree with that. That's why I'm buying. My account is my account is still 45% cash. I think I'm I think I'm too cash right now. That's why I'm buying one share every day right now. I'm trying to get out of cash. I think I think 50% cash is too much right now. We are what, 260 days into a bear market and down like 30% from highs? It's a good time to like be more accumulated than half your accounts, right? In my opinion, once you got you gotta do what you want, but <clears throat> I'd be careful. Careful what? Buying the dip? It could get worse. In a lot of ways, I hope it gets worse. Good. Let's go to 300. Let's go to, let's go to two, let's go to 200. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'll be there buying all the way down, baby. <laughs> I'll be accumulating all the way down. When, when you're, when you're investing, when you're investing, I'm talking about like 15, 20, 30 year investing. It's more important how much capital you have invested than it is where you invested. I tweeted this the other day too. If if someone tells you that they've held spy or say like Apple, if someone tells you they've they've had Apple for 10 years, do you is your thought at all to like go back and judge their entrance? Like ask them, "Ooh, where did you enter?" "Ooh, ooh, like well, maybe what price you pri enter, but you're not like going back and analyzing the chart where they entered." Yeah, you don't care. Who gives a shit? You think it matters? Do you think it matters if they bought Let's use Spy. Let's use Spy because this is what I'm buying. But you think it matters if you bought Spy 10 years ago? Uh, what was 10 years ago? 2012? You think it matters if you bought... Okay, where's 2012? You think it matters if you bought at... Uh, you think it matters if you bought at 130? If you bought at 110? No. That fucking matter. Who gives a shit? <laughs> You're up a fuckload of money on those shares. Congrats. It doesn't matter. What's more important, like I'd rather have, let's, let's put it this way. I'd rather have a hundred shares at 130 than I'd than than 50 shares at 110, right? So, you know, it's just the, the important thing is that you get your money into the market. Don't, don't like not invest because you're waiting, right? <laughs> well, I'm just going to not, I'm just going to not invest because I'm going to wait for the bottom. Then when the bottom comes, then I'll start buying. Then. Then when the markets turn up, then I'll start buying. I'll be buying there too. I'll be buying when when the when these people that think they're timing it are buying. I'll be buying there too. I'll be buying the whole time you are too. Guess what? I'll also have the ten thousand dollars plus whatever more I end up getting already accumulated as well. Like, <laughs> I will already have a bunch of money accumulated as well. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> You're just getting a discount. You use coupons when you're shopping, getting a better deal on what you want. Right. Right. The important part, if you're, if you're talking about it, like 20, 30 year investing, the important part is how many shares of, of spy do you own? How many shares of VOO do you own? That's really the important part. That is more important than the price that you own it at. That is more important than your average price. Right. It's like the stupid, it's like the stupid, uh, the stupid one Bitcoin is worth one Bitcoin. 
Now that's dumb, but <laughs> it's like that stupid idea. <laughs> accumulating, accumulating VOO is just accumulating VOO, right? <clears throat> it's weird. It's weird to like be scared of, of buying dips for investment. Once again, please remember when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about 15, 20, 30 year investing. I'm not talking about, I'm not buying SPY to expect to make money next week, right? SPY does still look weak. Like, it looks like it can go lower, but you know, my goal my goal is to accumulate as many shares as I can. That's it. That's my goal. I mean, obviously, with trading, I'm up $100 because I shorted the markets overnight. <laughs> in, this, in this trading account, I'm up 100 bucks. and got shorted the market overnight, right? Like, in, 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 in trading terms... These, the, what I'm saying doesn't necessarily work. Like you can't just blindly buy blood if you're trading. That would not have worked very well for you over a shorter time frame, right? But, but I'm not talking shorter time frames here. I think that's what people get confused about a lot when I have this conversation. Yes, yeah, spy can still go down. I think spy might. I think spy might still go down. It doesn't mean I'm gonna not accumulate. Like <laughs> that goof pal owns. <laughs> I really like that statement. That goof pal owns this place. <laughs> True. <laughs> hmm. Spy to 2K or lower? Let's send it. Let's send it. Ooh, today's payday. You know what, Quaid? You're actually going to buy some VOO today, too. I get paid today, which means Quaid gets paid today. I'm going to put some money into your account, too. You're accumulating shares of VOO right now as well, Quaid. You don't even know it, but you are. Buy, buy a share of VOO for Quaid every payday as well. By the time he's 18, he should have a really, really, really good, like, start. That's how you create gener generational wealth, chat. Individual stock scare me. It's one big major person who has interest in a particular stock. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and it, when it comes to investing in individual stocks, individual stocks, if that's the direction you want to go, it's a it's slightly different than just blindly buying blood, right? You have to be a little bit concerned about why the company is bleeding. Like right now, you can go pretty much buy Google, Apple, a Amazon, like the big, big companies relatively safely just because they're bleeding. But like, but like when Bear Stearns was bleeding, like if you went and just blindly bought that, you lost all your money, right? Like <laughs> everything I'm saying also pertains to SMP tracking ETFs, right? <laughs> Why VOO and not SPY? VOO has a slightly smaller expense ratio, like a 0.01% smaller expense ratio. Once I get enough money in, like once I get enough money invested that I can afford a hundred shares of SPY, I'll probably rotate to spy so that I can sell covered calls. <laughs>